Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Yeah. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, great. Good job, duck. Go! I'll get my gun! No, you don't need... Oh, I guess there is a gun. Ah! Oh, hell. Back it up! I gotta go, I gotta go, kid. Or she just died now. That'd be horrible. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Well, shit. It's all right. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah. Good job, Kenneth. Gas is out. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Horse. What kind of what is that shit? Oh great. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Yeah, no. No. Fuck! Yeah, fuck is right. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We can't trust anybody. Keep my mouth shut. know that. 
You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got yeah. kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Let's get quiet. Can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic. That's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over really? my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it... We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will Jesus. find us, and they will get in here. Of course, that of fucking PG-13 radio. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? Right. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Nice. When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Kill him. There we go, I got him. You okay? Just great, thanks. Yeah. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. 
We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need hmm. as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good right. shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, first let's grab all that. Oh, okay, that's stupid. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Huh. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs to. What a Thanks. fucking moron. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries. Batteries. <laughs> Give me this. It's a battery. One. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. That. That. There's a third one. Yeah, third one. Okay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. All right. Give me that. Give you one. We just need to get back. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. All right, and here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. All right, let's get that other battery. Uh, where the fuck? I think it's in the other room. Let's go get this shit. Alive inside. Uh oh. Some fucking crap back there. Come on. I can't. I can't think about them in here. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. The next game needs to like. I swear. Just have everything fucking open. It's not. It's not hard. It's not hard. I don't want to have to deal with loading screens all the time, man. One big ass one before Luckily, we start the whole game. God, I love this uh, theme. It's gonna get copyrighted, though. You know, because YouTube sucks.
God, I wish I was a YouTuber back in like 2008. Fuck, 2007 maybe. It's so much better then. Give me. Find anything? Yeah. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. He's like, I didn't like do anything. Okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear the group. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Fucking bitch. Alright, move this. <laughs> What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, yep. dad's just smart like that. Alright. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm gonna help you. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. It's a fucking desk. You don't need anything, right? Nope. I get hungry a lot. Okay, That's... good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you're cool? I think so. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna give her peanuts, see what happens. I'm gonna inject peanut butter into her veins. Do you have kids? Yes. No. You don't have a family? Yes. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Ah, uh, well. Those good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Flip your finger. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. <laughs> we didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, um, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Yeah. This thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. 
Alright, well, we have to cut it off now. You're dead.